Good morning, maniacs! It is Henia, and welcome to another video from Lapland, Finland. We are currently, well, I'm currently by myself because Barack went outside to the city. I am just starting off my day. It's currently like 1 p.m. or something. I love hibernation, okay? Like, I love it. Um, the sun just rose like a couple of hours ago, and this is probably the max it's going to get. I already had my oats for this morning because, you know, I like my oats in Scandinavia. It's probably like the only place I like to have oats. And I just had some cookies. These are vegan cookies. They're so good. Just warmed myself some gloggy, gloggy, however they pronounce it here in the microwave. And it is a boiling, bitch. Yes. This is the view from the outside. Ah. Oh. It's so peaceful and beautiful and I actually love this place. I'm not entirely sure about the plan we have for today. Um, we might go some ice skating. We are definitely going out for another Northern Lights tour tonight. So I'm not really sure what this day is going to be like, but hopefully it will be fun. It is currently minus eight. Um, and I just had like a minor episode of hyperthermia yesterday. <laughs> Uh, but we're we're gonna like uh, ignore that. <laughs> Just gonna rest up a little bit. Gonna edit some videos to keep you guys updated on my travels, and we're gonna get this day started. So if you guys are ready, let's get this day started. Video started. If you guys are ready, let's get this video started. It's the hey -me, hey -me, hey -me. So, for those of you who don't know, Glogi is like a Christmas drink, it's like Finnish, but I think they have it in Sweden as well, and I just took like a gazillion like leg pics with it, uh, maybe you've seen them on my Instagram, but maybe you haven't yet, because like, I'm just a perfectionist, but anyway, I love this thing. I would highly appreciate any Finns sharing their Glogi recipes with me, because I need to make this when I get back to Israel. Best way to keep your Glogi warm. <laughs> Honestly, our Airbnb host bought this for us yesterday because it is so cold in this bloody Airbnb. This heater is like the only heater and um, it is like minus degrees outside, but this thing hardly like even works. Like if you touch it, it's just meh. But if I touch this thing, I'm gonna burn myself. Oh, that's my underwear, don't mind that. And like the shower was not working for two days, so don't mind this heater not working at all, like, still. <laughs> this is why they bought us that other heater. But the hot shower was not running. I could not shower for days, like two nights. And you know, when it's this cold outside and you come home like hypothermia, in hypothermia, hypothermiac, nah, I don't know how to say that, then it's fucking freezing and you want a hot shower. We couldn't have hot showers until like yesterday, and by the time we finally got the hot shower fixed, the whole shower head like collapsed on us. So this whole thing felt like this thing and that thing fell on us, which is fucking heavy, like, God, let me tell you, like it, it could have been dangerous on its own, and we got into this big fight with our Airbnb host, and. Uh, it was very, very uncomfortable. Never mind that we didn't even have internet, like, at all. And because this is like their first time doing Airbnb, like there were no reviews and I just assumed it would be internet. But yeah, I'm rambling. I know, you guys hate when I do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just being real with you, you know? Because travel isn't always the easiest, the smoothest, whatever. You gotta be aware of that. So next time you check into an Airbnb, Make sure there is Wi-Fi and heating, especially when it's like minus 16 outside, so, um, yes. Um, uh, you guys, I'm currently in an ice rink. <laughs> We're in my, uh... oh god, this is so scary. I'm actually not that bad at this, like, well, I mean, if you don't consider me holding this thing, but I'm skating, I'm skating. When I was younger, like 14, 15, I had this thing where I wanted to become a rollerblader, even though like I'm really scared of anything with stuff like that. My parents, they instilled that fear in me. So I rebelled and I wanted to get a rollerblade and I, well, I wasn't good, but I tried and I succeeded. And I kind of know the technique and I know it's kind of similar. So we're gonna try it together. We're both currently like really struggling, so hopefully we got a photo by the time of sunsets, which is in about like 
10 minutes or so. Yeah, doesn't shine for that long, to be honest. Don't ask how I got here, but I'm in a place. What's this place called? Saikara. Saikara? Yeah. Okay. In this crazy, like, what is this? It's a mansion. I don't know how I got here, honestly, but like, look at this. It's so cool. It's made out of Russian wood, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kelo wood. Ke what? Kelo wood. Kelo wood. There you go. And it is so cool. Like, look at the size of these logs. Insane. Very, very, very cool. Okay. This is not so cool. We're ignoring this because we like animals. We don't want them to go through this. We have little, uh, how do you call these? Elves. Elves. Santa. Right. Very nice, very nice, very cool. Love this. Like, seriously, look at this. This is crazy. No. It's like powder. Whew. Okay, it's cold. It's cold powder. It's cold powder. So currently in a garage with some snowmobiles or mobiles or however you <laughs> pronounce that. I don't know. But uh, we shall be going on a ride soon, shall we? Yeah, we will. Oh yeah. So excited. World. Check out my pants. <laughs> How can I show these? There we go. I look the coolest I've ever looked, I think, ever. I mean, besides the fact that you can fit two humans in my pants. I mean, no pun intended. <laughs> you guys, we are ready. My gloves are so thick, I can't even like hold the camera properly, but this is how I look when I'm fully prepared for snow. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Guys, I rode a snowmobile. I am so red. Wow. I had so much. This was the most fun ever. Ever. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this was awesome. Take this bakbala balabala for me. I have to pee so bad. I'm wearing so many layers. I'm like, how do I get out of this? I need to pee so bad. <laughs> but yeah, this was so much fun. I actually drove. I drove. Alright, guys, we're currently in the headquarters of the Apuka Resort, which is where we booked our Northern Lights tour for tonight. We're about to get dressed. <laughs> Uh, apparently it might be it might go down to minus 20 according to our guide it might be might be so uh, we're getting properly dressed I'm so excited we're finally gonna wear the tourist um, well now it, now it's a tourist thingy before that it was to me it was like a sea shepherd kind of equipment <laughs> if you need one but uh, I guess you have your own mm -hmm. I have a scarf okay I love this. I feel like we look like astronauts. Ast ast cannot pronounce. Cannot pronounce. But um, yeah. <laughs> I think just one last. As if I'm going the <laughs> on the Sea Shepherd boat and there's all the wetsuits around me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're ready. Salawa, <laughs> forgot his hat. Don't wanna fall asleep cause I miss you. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's better outside. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. So pretty. What is this exactly though? It's actually ice cabin made of ice. And the, they have been taking the ice off the lake. That's how they have been building that. Wow. And I actually in Finland usually they, they build those cabins like with the small cubes. But in here, our CEO, he has uh, 10 years of experience of the ice building. Wow. And uh, they, I was watching when they were building this house and uh, this cabin, and it was actually like 
like they were building a real house. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I can't even begin to imagine how they make something like this. But we're gonna. Oh. Wow. It's not even cold. This is cool. Oh, there's a little hole in there. I can see outside. Snowshoes? For snowshoeing? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I thought I already have snowshoes, but now I have snowshoes for snowshoeing. <laughs> I'm not awkward at all. <laughs> it was already hard enough as it is to walk. Now it's like, okay. Well, this is like fun. I love being this awkward. <laughs> okay. I don't. I feel kind of stupid with the sticks. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I'm gonna fall on my face. <laughs> okay. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> No? <laughs> so far in. Okay. This is how Viking I am currently toasting. <laughs> no, this is actually not Viking. This is so Israeli. <laughs> I brought a sandwich with me. <laughs> oh god. This is so me. But we got a toast. <laughs> Toasting on the fire. <laughs> in a what do you call this thing? Uh it's in Finnish it's kota. 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 Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we're we're in a kota. Toasting a toast. Bless you. Barack was just like, what are we seeing there? <laughs> and I'm like, whoa! And then <laughs> Elena was the like, the yeah, no, it's just our lights. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, whatever, still looks cool. <laughs> but I don't think the forecast for today is good enough. Like, it's so cl cl cloudy. cloudy, you can't even see one star. Uh, one can only hope, you never know. We're going into the forest now. We're currently on a... I don't even know what it's called. Snow what? Snow train. Snow train. Well, actually a snowmobile with the sledge. Snowmobile with a sledge. And uh, we're going into the snow. So maybe we'll see something? We don't know. One can only hope. But there's probably not going to be anything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now watch it. Let me touch it. Come in the picture. Picture with us. Okay, coming. I'm not. I've been waiting to do this since like we got here. My makeup has actually frozen off of my face. I can't. Oh gosh. When the cold makes you look like this. I think my hair is frozen. Something is definitely like for. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Don't know why this happened. Whatever. So, we are back home after our Northern Lights tour experience with Apoka Resort. I had a really good time. Like, the sledge thingy in the snow was awesome. It was really good fun. Sadly, we didn't get to see any Aurora, but we got fake Aurora pictures and we got all my mascara on my face, which is like, you know, that's not a Northern Lights trip in Finland if you don't <laughs> have your mascara run down all over your face. Uh, we just lit up our candles, even though it's technically the next day because it's past midnight, but you know, it's the fifth day of Hanukkah, so happy Hanukkah to anyone who's watching. We're currently about to well, render a video from earlier. Drink our hot chocolate. This is the Alpro hot chocolate. It is so good. We just microwave it because who gives a fuck about boiling shit. And we are having our more of our cookies that we got in Helsinki. These are the best. We're going to sleep after this and tomorrow we have a snowmobile tour. So we're gonna get a snowmobile picture in day of time, hopefully, <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be fun. So, I'll see you guys in the morning.